Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Penn, and in this month's tutorial, we're gonna be creating a simple, cool looking pixel mobile wallpaper. Go ahead and start, delete those examples. We'll start on a fresh canvas, and we'll do it between 150, 160 width, and around 300 height. Right away, we will make a ton of layers. Let's do 15. We're gonna erase all the default colors. There's a few steps in here. Right away, we're gonna set up our a gradient. We're gonna pick two colors, which is gonna actually create our whole palette, and it's a very simple process. This whole tutorial is aimed to be beginner-friendly. You can follow it and hopefully have similar results. And then, after we set up the gradient and colors, we'll start blocking out our landscape, and then we'll get the main objects in, like the people and the buildings, and then we'll, we'll work on smaller details. So let's get started. We're going to be doing this kind of blue. It goes down into dark and it's kind of lighter, a little bit of tint of purple in the middle. Let's go to the gradient tool, grab two colors, one being the dark blue. So if we just go to our color wheel and grab darker blue here, maybe something like there. And if you're not on the color wheel, if you go up to these three lines and go to the RGB color wheel and you'll have the same one as me. And then if you're right clicking to grab a color down here, because the gradient uses both those colors. We can grab a lighter color up here and we can move it around. Just make sure you're right clicking the whole time and a little purple there, a bit lighter. We'll try that and we'll see, we'll see how it feels. So now that we have our gradient tool, let's go to our top layer, so layer 15 in this case, and you're just gonna click on the bottom and drag up and get something like that. You can see right now, similar to this, a bit different, but very similar. And this is our, we'll just call it our gradient layer. And we're going to keep this and we're going to use it towards the end. But for now, we're just going to make our palette out of it. So right away, we can grab the bottom color, see this black color, and then we move up a little bit, grab another color, move up a little bit more, grab another color, tiny bit more. And we're just going to work our way all the way to the top, working our way up. And we don't have to use all of these, but it's just a pretty simple way to get kind of a cool gradient or a, a cool palette from a gradient. I think that's enough colors. And now we can start kind of whipping this together. And this gradient layer, it will be on the top, but for now we're just gonna move it to the bottom so we can draw over top of it. But towards the end, we're gonna, gonna use it and it's gonna be on the top and you'll see what we do with that. So let's, let's go ahead and go on the layer one and it will be completely blank. And we'll just start drawing or kind of our locking out our landscape. So just doing kind of lines across like so and we're going to keep them all on separate layers and i'm just using the straight line tool for this right now because we'll add some bumps and whatnot later on but for now we'll just use the straight line tool and my bad we want to use this one towards the top not at the bottom because these ones are actually going to be behind it and you can see here this one's a little the difference is a little too much already so we can go ahead and grab and turn these off and let's grab color in between these perhaps and we'll just move it in between and let's see how that looks we take it and that looks much better so let's go and move to the next one add another line there i think what we can do we'll move this all up so they start blending more and you can see when you're applying the color when they start to blend in that section that's kind of what you want you want it to kind of go up with the landscape and it will give this nice cool atmospheric look so you can see here we already got this kind of cool landscape coming along and we're only a few colors in so let's go to the next one i think that's the same color let's move this one let's add a color here and add it and a hand bomb that one which is okay and then we're going to move up to this color i believe for this one Sometimes try different kind of weird lines and shapes. And as they get further away, do kind of make them more kind of compact, like so. And now we got this cool landscape kind of set up. So what we can do is raise this a bit more, try to find the perfect spot. And we'll go to this layer and we'll fill in that bottom there. And we can toggle the gradient and kind of get a look, kind of get a feel for that. Because one thing we want to do is grab a sky color which will probably be this one here. And we can go ahead and start labeling some of these. And even to save some space, we can make a group, call this land. We know all of those are the land. And now 
we can we can do a little teaser of what this gradient will be when we move it in front of everything we can toggle the opacity and it really gives this, this kind of foggy murky look that i think is really cool you can see it in here i should have kept the old examples up so we could toggle it but we get the idea here so now we already have this beautiful landscape that can really be a wallpaper already with just doing something simple like this now you have this kind of like it looks like this this desert looking area it's very cool and we're only 10 minutes in but i think the goal is to do the buildings and whatnot like this and this one's more spread out so we can also spread this one out a little more but for now let's just turn off the gradient and start adding some some more detail so if we open up our land and pick a layer so let's do this this guy right here this color we can add some heroes or adventurers kind of locking them in maybe this guy's holding something maybe he's got a little hat maybe there's another one here we can erase if we if we need to this guy has a sword coming out use our line tool and maybe there's a third fellow here also has a sort of hat on now we're blocking in our three fellows and it looks pretty cool so next up we can we can kind of pick you can kind of pick what kind of tree or what kind of vegetation or kind of objects you want and start start blocking those in or you could do a main building or something in the distance maybe it's a huge boss or something you can you can be creative with that so let's go ahead and and, and start blocking something uh, maybe we'll do we'll do trees I, I like trees what kind of trees maybe similar to these ones maybe a bit different let's just see what comes Maybe they're a bit more kind of burnt and kind of no life to them. Might be pretty cool. Do another one over here. And if you're following along on this one, I would love to see what you come up with in the Discord. Whether it's just uh, following along and copying this one or, or doing something on your own. So if we move up a layer, we want to keep these trees a little smaller. So perhaps it was size 3 and I think on these ones we were size 4 or 5. A little smaller because a little smaller because they're smaller or further away and we choose this one this one we can keep kind of similar distance and then when we move up we can go even smaller perhaps if we're in this one here maybe it's just one like so but one over here kind of spread them out make sure you're zooming in and out you can toggle the gradient to get a feel feel for everything and we can maybe turn that down a bit and the reason why i have the gradient off most of the time is I use the V tool to jump to layers and if the gradient's on it's just going to be jumping to the gradient layer. So we toggle that off and let's jump to this one. Maybe there's real some that are super far away. And then let's jump to the foreground one. We moved it and maybe we do an even bigger one kind of right there. This one will be the most detailed one. So let's make sure it looks good. Maybe there's chunks missing areas even a hole up here like so i'm missing there maybe some some roots kind of coming at the bottom there like so and placement looks pretty good maybe we can move these guys over a tad try that Without ruining the ground too much let's play around with this a little bit right in the middle looks pretty good well, let's grab that color and a little bit more they'll be taller that's okay Placement looks pretty good. So let's block in some something in the distance. Now what what will it be? Not sure. We did buildings in this one. I think buildings are cool. Kind of like you found something, a, a dungeon or something. So let's go to the sky layer and we're gonna grab we're gonna grab the sky color and just go a little bit darker just for the main one. And let's just test in or test out something. Maybe perhaps we'd make even more. Kind of like this is going up a hill experiment a little bit so let's go on the layer front of it and we have that color still we lost it let's go a bit a bit darker a little bit more darker and we're gonna make this first hill quite big and then we're gonna come down a bit another color something like that and then go even further a little bit a little bit more tiny bit more that one looks okay and maybe the placement of these let's grab all the i don't mind the colors so let's grab them not happy with the placement of them Let's try that again. Instead of doing the double kind of lines, let's just do one across. Keep going across like this. 
and we'll add a couple more layers and these could be clouds as well and one more which looks pretty cool and now putting the buildings in we can kind of do that a bit more and make sure you're on the right layer let's go to this color here and we'll add in first kind of block and what kind of building should we make you can make it kind of make a sci-fi looking one something like that or just an old castle is always cool and just remember the gradient will add a lot to this we test it out and we'll really make it feel give it that fog atmospheric feel to it so just remember that while while we're creating let's just make sure we're on the right layer good enough and kind of just block in different kind of structures and whatnot perhaps there's a tall tower and back here kind of a tall lookout tower maybe there's a wall coming way over here kind of a kind of a bridge with pillars do three across three three oops so maybe add the little defense whatever these are make it look more like a castle all across there and let's move to perhaps this color and that layer and maybe add a building in front or smaller buildings maybe I like their village perhaps and just connect them in some kind of fashion like so maybe flags flag on this one no flag to this layer again and maybe add kind of one more building kind of just fake over here maybe there's like a lookout thing right there maybe a couple buildings over here so and let's toggle the gradient see how it looks looks very creepy and that's kind of the goal overall Pretty cool. Let's do control U on the gradient layer and you can kind of mess around with the, the fog color and you can get a different feel for it, which is pretty cool. We can kind of make it look more hot in the desert, which is really cool as well. More a bit more green. We can go towards the purple. I like the, the desert feel is it's pretty cool. Mess with the saturation as well. Follow that up and down. And when you're done, you can always if it if it's too saturated, we can we can change the opacity as well. But I'm unsure. Oops, I just lose Control Z. Control Z. That's the original, I believe. Yes. But we can always mess with that in the end. Do a couple versions and see what we like best. But let's uh, add more detail to to these. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to this one here, this foreground right here, and I'm gonna highlight everything but the tree so make sure and give some space as well because i'll show you in a sec i'm going to use this extension called grassify and if you just search a sprite grassify extension it will be the top thing on on google and you can download it it's free and we can do and what this does it just makes line that kind of replicate grass and you can choose the grass coverage i'm going to do 58 i'm going to do up to three height i'm going to choose random and grassify and then it just makes these grass and you can go again as well if you want more and you can mess with that you can even do a bit more a bit too much i think i like three and a three and about around 50 percent coverage and we can do that for all the layers grassify you can keep it up and this one will do 50 as well and we're gonna make it two maybe a bit more coverage 66 and that looks pretty good oops you can keep the grassify up as you work as well it's nice now let's go on this layer which is this guy right here and we'll do the same thing i think we'll make this one too as well and then the next one this layer here and the layer 11 and 10 we can make those uh, one i think one looks good let's go to 10 i deleted that as well and this just saves you a little bit of time and then with these layers there's so little you can kind of just and and pick them quickly and pretty cool that's the gradient so now we have pretty awesome little wallpaper super simple to do but we can have some fun with more things we can kind of opt them into this phone thing we can add more things like we have fences here we can add we can add fences as well or kind of something abandoned like look great but let's let's do some fences here i have a post here maybe this one's kind of falling over three was a bit too much let's do two see how we did them here kind of like how i did them oh they were going off screen a bit so let's do that as well i think that really brings it together when it's off screen we can do perhaps one over here one will be skinnier like so and for fun we can kind of do maybe even do a big monster in the background let's do 
behind everything. So a new layer in front of the sky. Name this one monster. And you could do any shape. Maybe we'll do like a, a giant or something. What color will look good? Be a bit darker. Stands out too much. What are the, what's that? Attack back of the titans? And we'll do like some kind of titan. Creepy, maybe there's like wires coming out. Copy and paste, but another one smaller. Paste another one. Smaller over here. It's just a quick little monster. Kind of showcase what we can do with that. They did look more like a bottles, but kind of gives it a cool little spookiness with the vibes. Let's let's actually experiment with the gradient a bit more. Or we kind of put, the, put it on a mobile thing. Now what do we like best? That's kind of cool. Ray is always is always cool to me. Probably keep the light, keep that at zero. Maybe something like this, a bit of the green, which is really cool. And we can add, let's open recent. And we can grab the text here to the text layer. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this because it's a little tedious to do. Oops, wrong layer. But I can, I can explain the text quickly if you want me to. I just use T, press T to input text, and then I just type in August. I would do that one and slap it right there. And I would do kind of a line at a time. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I would say, okay, and I would put those in. So, and then I would line them up to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. And then we can kind of mess around with the color. We can put it under the gradient, I'll name it text, put it under the gradient to kind of blend in a bit more. And you can always, oh well, that looks pretty cool, or brown, and I like that. Kind of really dig that. This one's creepy. And you can play around with the color all day, but that's that's pretty cool. Let's just say that's a win. I really dig this. We can put the text a bit lower, and we'll go ahead and save this in Stuntman Bob 3. And then let's uh, do some examples like this. So what I did here, I'm gonna make a third one. I'm gonna delete the middle, which is just other wallpapers. And all I did was go on Google and searched up a mobile phone wallpaper template thing. And I grabbed that for the phone. And then the background is just a dark color. And these were pretty big. So I'm actually gonna export this and scale it up. So again, we'll just save it and then let's export it how big just see a thousand see how it works and then we're gonna open up that file off screen and then we're gonna drag it in like so and we're just gonna highlight it all and I think this is probably way too big oh my gosh way too big but let's go ahead and export that do it at 100 maybe it's less maybe it was less no let's try 200 copy yeah, 200 should do and we can just slap it like that and then you can grab the most topmost color and kind of just fill in the rest here Oops. like so and then the same with the bottom and then we can also export it with the text at 200 without and then we can drag that in as well to showcase it with no text and this one we can do a little higher perhaps and grab that color again at the bottom and fill it all in very nicely and then there's going to be a couple edges up here we can just delete and we have a new wallpaper the so three in this style and this one's pretty cool maybe one of my favorites i like them all these ones we had more center and to do that we would just kind of move this all up more and then highlight the bottom like that as well you can adjust those however you please but yeah this was a fun fun tutorial i really like doing this kind of simple one i, I feel like a beginner to any experience could could have fun with this and if you're in it this long, thank you so much. If you support me on Patreon or any socials or buying my packs, thank you so much. It means so much to me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.